Tumen Bay from Panoply and the BBC. Previously on Tumen Bay. There's a city far away. The Sultan will receive you now. Lead the way. The richest, most powerful place on earth. His Majesty would like to know what is the purpose of your visit. I've come to convey my Queen's detailed instructions. What are you talking about? Instructions for what? The surrender of the city. He's not even flinching. Who? Oh, the slave. He's... They don't feel pain like us. They are barbarians. Then what's the point of whipping him? They are among us. Who? First a few, and now many. Who do you belong to? One of them is inside you too. She would wake inside your head. Who? The Queen. My father needs me to marry a resident of Tuombe in order to license his business or something. And what business is that? Slaves. She has a baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she can come with or without the baby. No problem. You. You, come closer. Uh, you want to stay with your baby. I understand that. I have a child too. You're something special, aren't you? You need not fear Maya and her armies. This is a kingdom that will be destroyed from within. Find that thing which Maya desires. Take it to her. What does she desire? The heart of the Empire. You're listening to Season 1, Episode 2 of Tumen Bay. Shaky, mother. It's cold. It's not cold, it's hot. It's very hot. A blanket. Here. You're better. You need to drink some water. Try to rest. I'll go and fill up the jug. There's a city far away. My parents often spoke of it as if it had always been there and always would be. I'd seen it in paintings. I read of it in stories. The richest, most powerful place on earth. The center of everything. It drew people from every corner of the Empire and beyond. Tumen Bay. A city I always wanted to visit. Who didn't? But not under these circumstances. On a slave ship. With my mother sick. <gasps> C- Captain! Captain! There's a man overboard! Look! Two men! Three! Go back to your cabin. But there, I but... said go back. Now. Your men are throwing slaves overboard. Why? Better to lose the cargo and their sickness on board. What sickness? Plague. How do you know? I've been transporting slaves long enough to know when there's plague on board. They get the pustules under the armpits in the groin. There's nothing we can do for them. And what if one of your men had it? There's nothing we could do. Once the pustules burst, this sickness spreads. I have to save the ship and those on board. Simple as that. Are they all sick? Just one. In the foredeck hold. But we can't take a chance. How is your mother? She's recovered. I'm just tired. I was concerned. No, she's fully better. Good. Aft hold is okay. No sign of it there. I'm certain it's just the one slave. He probably had it before boarding. I... I have to go back. Mother! Mother! 
Wake up. They're throwing the slaves overboard. Oh, they do that sometimes. I saw them floating away. One of them was trying to cling to the side of the ship and he just got sucked under. Why do you care? Why do I care? They're slaves. But they're still people. <laughs> Why are you laughing? They don't have the same feelings that we do. They're born and they're slaves. They don't love. They don't understand. Then how is it in Tumambay, Mother, where they say everyone was a slave once? That's different. How is it different? You are such an obstinate, difficult child. Why are you upsetting me when I'm so unwell? Did you get water? Here. Wish your father were here. He could explain everything. Did the captain say how long? Soon, he said soon. He will be waiting for us. The flowers will be dead though. Mother? Huh? What flowers were you talking about? Your father. On our wedding day. You have fever. You, you need to rest. We will have a home again. Our belongings around us. And you will meet your fiancé for the first time. Oh, yes. Joy. What was that? It came from the cupboard. Be careful. What is it? A rat? Please, not another rat. No, it's not a rat. Can you see anything? Yes. Who are you? What do you want with us? Tuman Bay. Episode 2, Ship of the Dead, by John Dryden. I have an appointment with the head eunuch. Papers. Wait over there. He hasn't arrived yet. I need to bring the merchandise in. Where's the goods entrance? Over there, down the passage. Another day at the palace. The slave merchant brings in his product for sale. Another beginning. Mm. Unusual blue eyes. Where did you procure them? I have been a slave merchant all my life, Your Excellency. I have traveled far and have contacts in every port. But you haven't answered my question. I chanced upon them at the slave markets. And I thought of you at once. Very considerate. They are quality. Look, look at the teeth. And educated. Are you educated? What's he doing? Oh, get back. No! I'm so sorry, Your Excellency. Get back, get back! Your Excellency, are you all right? Was that supposed to hurt me? Those went long ago. <laughs> I see you still have yours, for now. If you want to keep them, you better learn to behave. I'm so sorry, Your Excellency, but look at his spirit. And he's educated. Oh, I can see that. I have been buying slaves for the palace for a long time. I'll take them both. Good. Take these two down to the cells. My assistant will show you, and we'll do the paperwork. Ah, Malik. You were supposed to come yesterday. Hello, everybody. And the baby? Hmm? The baby? The baby. Uh, I thought the baby could, could be a doll for the princesses. Oh, no, we have no use for the child. But the princesses... We have enough. Throw it to the dogs. Come. Please, no! Please, no! Stop, stop, stop. It's all right. I'll take it. I'll find a use for it. No, no, I don't trust you. You have to trust me. It's all right. I'll take care of it, of, of her. If she goes down to the cells with you, she will be taken away from you anyway. 
This is her chance for life. Give her to me. She needs me. It's okay. We're all right. We're all right. Naima. What? Her name is Naima. Move. Go on. Move. Move. Naima. But here in Tuman Bay, we are all slaves to somebody or something. Even the Sultan and his advisors. Of course, Your Majesty, the well-being of your nephew is of immense importance to us all. And now that his health is improving... Can you smell it? Smell what? Oh! Yes! You're wearing it. You didn't notice. I did. I, I did. You don't like it? In Tuman Bay, not liking the scent of a perfume can cost you your head. Oh, I love it. Kadali, the Grand Vizier, can always be relied on to say the right thing. My nephew Madhu helped me develop it. I call it life. Quite simply, life. Very, very good, Your Majesty. To celebrate his recovery from the clutches of death. It's similar to the, uh, the, the one you created... Um, for the King of Asaria? Yes. That one. Or the center made to celebrate the Feast of the Sickle Moon. Yes, uh, that one too. But they are entirely different. <laughs> um, my ability to distinguish such subtle differences in smell is far less developed than yours, Your Majesty. It is really quite a unique and wonderful gift that you have. Practice, Kadali. Anything can be perfected with practice. Quite so. And, well, concerning Madhu, perhaps we need to start thinking of more activities for him to practice. What activities? He's no longer a child. I think perhaps we need to involve him in more... more... A 16-year-old boy uh, perhaps needs to practice with the sword, horsemanship, the art of battle. I know it's not his natural inclination, but I fear if we ignore this aspect of his education, well, what about a posting with the army? I hope I haven't offended Your Majesty. Good idea, Dali. Oh. I'll talk to his mother. Thank you, Your Majesty. Ah, General Kulan. Your Majesty. We were just talking about the Sultan's nephew, Madhu. I trust he's making a speedy recovery. He is. We want to arrange a posting in the army. If His Majesty commands. A position in keeping with his state. I don't want him pampered. He needs to grow up. He needs to learn to take orders. Understood. Your Majesty, I have some news. We have word from scouts that Maya's forces are gathering along the borders of Amber province near Susa. I don't want to hear such news. But your majesty, we... Don't come to me with bad news. Your job is to deal with it. Why do I have to keep hearing about this bitch? Who let her get this far? Majesty, I am ready to deal with Maya. Good. Teach her a lesson. Yes, but I do... But nothing. Rip her to shreds. Cut out her guts. Burn them in front of her. Make her weep. Beg. Who does she think she is to challenge me? Perhaps, General, you should get on with your work. Forgive me, Majesty, if I speak openly. Our provincial armies haven't fought in a long time. How long is it since we've called on the provincial governors to muster their men? This is an opportunity. What are you talking about? What opportunity? To bring them in line, in case they have any thoughts of their own about rebelling. We should call on them to provide men to help fight Maya. But to do so would send a signal to the provincial governors that we are panicking, that the central authority is weak. No. It would show them that they owe their power to our sultan. I need your... What do you need? Total authority over all provincial governors and district commissioners. Your Majesty, if you were to grant these powers, you would be going back on the treaties that you yourself signed. The provincial governors have had it too good for too long. They are fat, lazy, self-obsessed peacocks. They spend too much time admiring themselves in mirrors. They are the reason we have left ourselves open to attack. Go. Do it. You have my authority. 
Majesty. Prepare the letters for General Kulan and bring them to me to sign. Of course. I will be in my rooms. Congratulations, General. I'm doing what is best for Tuman Bay. Of course. I don't doubt it. But you are an ambitious man. We both are. Perhaps this can be an opportunity for us. How so? Hmm. <laughs> I'll show you my hand if you show me yours. I just want what's best for the Empire. We all do. I'm a soldier. I was a slave. A slave soldier. The army has given me everything. My family, my status, my wealth. I want to serve my Sultan. That's all I want. My brother, the General, is a very unusual man in Tuman Bay. I, on the other hand, am rather more interested in serving another master. Myself. Is the fat man in? Sir, the head eunuch. <laughs> Do you have an appointment? No, no, you can't go in. You have to wait like everyone else. You have no idea who I am, do you? What? Who are you? Never mind. Wake up! What? Your Excellency, what an honor. The Sultan's first wife, Lady Shahjar, needs a new maid. As head of the Sultan's household, it's my duty to find a suitable candidate. I see. I thought, uh... Yes? Well, she has a maid. She was a spy. Oh. I need someone clean and new. Someone untainted by all the politics of the palace. Do you have any candidates? She's been wailing for her baby ever since she arrived. I was thinking of putting her in the kitchens. Baby? She arrived here with a baby. I had no use for it, so the merchant took it. Ah, she is in here. She's from the north somewhere. Educated. Clearly, she was once someone. When did she arrive? A week or so ago. Blue eyes, good manners. And she's pleasing to the eye, too. But that, unfortunately, is no longer something I can act on. But perhaps your excellency might, eh? Girl! Girl! Girl, come forward. It's all right, there's no need. Send her to my quarters. I will indeed, Excellency. Where's the boss? Huh? The boss? In the courtyard. Oh. Hey! Ah! You see, Ibn Bey? You said the house had to be ready for a wedding, and see? The fountains are flowing, hmm? The tiles are laid. Ah, ah, please, do not step there. Uh, the cement is still wet. Uh, when was it you said your wife and daughter were arriving? I need you to take care of the baby. But what? You said your wife missed having a baby. Here is a baby. I, I, but, uh, well. Why are we going there? But he's a stupid, dirty, unhygienic old man who doesn't cut his fingernails. He is the Hafiz, and you will show respect. He wasn't showing much respect in his own country. They kicked him out. He's nothing, just a... just a parasite. Uncle just uses him for state occasions. If he didn't have you, he probably wouldn't even eat properly. He is the direct descendant of the teacher. A pure line. You need to respect that. He is called by God. <laughs> called by the spirit, more like. He's always drunk. What's more, he's our security. He's our future. Someone else who has only her own interests at heart. The Sultan's first wife, Shajar. And her useless son, Madhu. Does anybody ever come here? 
They would, of course, but your uncle has forbidden it. Hmm. It's God in a box. What? All this. My uncle lets him out when he wants to say to the world, look at me, I am God's anointed leader. And then he just shuts him back up in this, his box. It's all pretend. You come. I am so glad you came. First, Your Holiness, a blessing for my son. Mother! Do it! Madhu, kneel. My son has been unwell. Oh, I am sorry to hear that. Uh, the holy water, too. Where is it? Bello, bring the holy water! What? Oh, my lady Shazar, welcome. Bring the holy water. It is here. I don't want it. Give him the cup. Drink it. True believers must drink until they are full. I'm full. It will make you strong. It has been brought here from the sacred spring. Done? Good. Madhu, wait outside. But why should I have because to... Because I'm telling you to. <sighs> and get rid of him. Hello. Yes, Your Grace. I have my prayers to attend to. How are they treating you? All right, for a prisoner. The food? It could be better. I'll see what I can do. So why did you call me? I've been thinking. Yes? I think they should be with me, with respect. With respect? I think perhaps not. But I should be with them. I am their guardian. I am nothing without them. But as we agreed, when I agreed to look after your interests, we agreed that I would be best positioned to keep them safe. So no man could find them, not even the Sultan. That I would keep them safe. But I am nothing, nothing without them. <laughs> What was that all about? Ensuring our future. Talking of which, isn't it about time we found your wife? <sighs> Do we have to keep discussing this? I'm not ready. Neither was I when I was chosen. Back to the palace. You are my son. It's no secret that you are your uncle's chosen heir. I don't care. Others might, if you prefer the flesh of girls or boys. But you need to produce an heir. A ruler without an heir is vulnerable. I'm not a ruler. Yet. You know, in the old days, it would have been General Kulan or Kadali who would have succeeded the Sultan. Because they are ruthless and they have the experience. Well, that's the old days. It's not like that anymore. You are of noble birth. It's your birthright. Double birthright. After all, your dear father, bless his soul, was also the Sultan. No, mother. I'm a slave from slave stock, and so are you. And so is everyone else here. <sighs> Captain, the fort they hold is empty now. Good. And we've washed it down and burned brimstone in there. All right. Keep an eye on the aft hole. Any signs of sickness and we'll get them overboard. Yes. What about the crew? Uh, no sickness. Gather them up on the deck at sunset. We must give thanks for our deliverance. Yes, Captain. Captain! Is everything all right, my lady? How is your mother? Captain, launch the boat! <laughs> There's no need for that. Everything has been taken care of. There is no plague. We are out of danger. Launch the boat now or I'll cut off her head. Go aft. Get help. Easy. Stay where you are. No one moves until the boat is launched. Uh, uh, look, uh, listen to me. I can offer you your freedom if you let her go. Like you offered my brothers their freedom when you threw them in the sea. I'll free you. Let you take the boat if you let her go. You have my word. Your word is worth nothing. This girl is worth everything. 
Launch the boat! Put food and water in it! Captain, do it. Launch the boat. Launch the boat! Launch the boat! Come on! Please! Launch the boat! Please! There. Now let her go. Only when I'm on the boat. Order your men to go back. Step back. Get back now! All right, it's all right. No one is going to touch you. Please, I don't want to go down. Let me go here. Shut up! Don't harm her, please. Everyone stay back. You are free to go. You are free to go. Sit there. <laughs> Shut up! Now let the gun go. You think I'm a fool? You would sink me. The girl will be released when I get to shore. No, no! The cannon is loaded. Shall I fire, Captain? No. Let them go. Aren't we going to chase them? There's nothing we can do. Keep to your course. We still have a cargo to sell. What are you going to do with me? When I finish with you, I'll do what your people did to us. <laughs> I'm sorry, madam. There's nothing we could do. <coughs> what do you mean? He took a boat. He took your daughter. Are you insane? We must go after them. We must... Uh, uh... Are, are you all right, madam? <coughs> madam. <coughs> There's blood. You sit down. No? Suit yourself. Leave us to talk for a while. Sarah. An unusual name. None here, at least. Where are you from? The North, I understand. This is where I live, in the palace. It's a small apartment, but then I don't need much. I don't have a family or anything like that. I live alone. It's necessary for what I do, not to have any ties. Not to love. Love only makes you weak. Especially love for a child. Would you like some wine? It's all right. You can drink here if you like. No one will arrest you. Certainly not me. <laughs> so you can read, I see. How did you know? Your eyes. Your lovely blue eyes. I couldn't resist. When I turned my back to pour the wine, you couldn't resist looking at my ledger, could you? Did you see anything interesting? About my work? Do you know what my work is? to find the spies. Do you know what I've learnt in all the years I've been here in the palace doing this? Everyone wants something. Knowing what you want, striving to get it, it's that that keeps us alive. What people want can change from day to day, it doesn't matter. For instance, this evening, right now, do you know what I want? No. I want a trustworthy pair of eyes on the Sultan's chief wife, Shajar. And do you know how I can get that? 
if her new maid were to report everything that happened to me. And why would she do that? Because she wants something too. What does she want? You see? This is how the world works. People need prizes. What is your prize? That your baby might live. Of course, I do have to ensure that the baby is still around. Master, we weren't expecting you back until this evening. Are the builders still here? But some of them are, Master. They were just packing up. Is everything all right? Where is he? Who? The boss. The one I gave the baby to. Uh, he, he's gone home. Damn. Damn. Damn! Where does he live? Amit, I forgot to give you the keys for New the job. There you are. Ibn Bey. As promised, our work is almost complete. Never mind that. Where is it? What? The baby. I want it back. I don't have it. What do you mean, you don't have it? I took it home, but the wife, she said no. And so? I sold it to the butcher. You, you, the baby you bought from my builder. What of it? I need it back. Too late. What do you mean, you, you bastard? My wife. She has already become so attached to it. Oh. Well, she had better become unattached because it's needed at the palace. Is that so? It is. Well, it's going to cost you? Bring the belt with the gold thread. Also the diamond studded one. It's hanging there. Hmm. I think I will wear the gold. Yes, madam. All right, let me show you. You loop them around like this. Oh, you know how to do it? Yes, madam. Shall I bring the Azure dress? Don't ask, just do. I will tell you if I'm dissatisfied. I was a slave too, you know. Everyone's a slave, I suppose. Even the freemen are slaves. Slaves to power, slaves to money, slaves to, well. This is how it is in Tumen Bay. How did we begin this journey? It's through no choice of our own, and yet it becomes our story. The story of our lives. And where will the journey end? You need a thread and needle to stitch me in. On the table over there. Yes, madam. So, you were taken by pirates. Gregor told me. Yes, madam. And before that? My father was a merchant from a small kingdom in the north. What kingdom? What's it called? Kassik. It's very small. You won't have heard of it. Ah, but I have. How is His Excellency Ivan Kass? Ivan Kass? Your king. But... But surely you must know, my lady, that Ivan Kass is dead. Killed by his son, Ilkin. Oh, yes. Yes, it escaped my memory. Life is so fragile. We think we are safe, and yet, suddenly... He was not so kind to my people as his father was. We had to leave to find a new home. And were captured by pirates? Yes. And here you are. You must have suffered great hardships. Yes. But now you are safe. You are my maid, and I will look after you. Right. I must go to the banquet now. Do you know why you are my maid? No, my lady. Why do you think you have this job? Why did I allow that man to place you in my household? Don't you want to know? Because I had no choice in the matter. You see, I'm a slave. Just like you, in essence. I have no real power. Not really. I live my life for the Sultan, and you... Well, the only thing I ask of you... is total and complete loyalty. Because if you are not loyal... you will suffer. You think you have suffered already? 
But believe me, you know nothing of suffering. Here in Tumen Bay, we have had centuries to perfect the art. Good. Madam, what is it for? What? The banquet. A wonderful new perfume created by my husband, the Sultan. <laughs> It is exquisite, Your Majesty. I can smell pomegranate. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Divine. Your best. Kadali. Yes, Your Majesty. Where is the Hafiz? We need to start. He is here, Your Majesty. I think there was a problem with. Let me check. Mm. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Your Majesty, yes. it is a divine. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you. Take your hands off me. Uh, someone, oh, please help me. Oh, what's going on, Doctor? He's almost ready, Your Excellency. Your Holiness, how are you feeling? Help me, please. <laughs> you are the only one that understands. Hmm. <laughs> Who are you? Oh. Where am I? I want him in there. I want him sobered up and ready for the blessing. Do whatever you have to do. Your Holiness, just, just sniff this. No. Good evening, General. Kadali. If anything, my brother hates Kadali even more than I do. And how is the most powerful man in the Empire? Enjoying the unseasonably cool night air? I have an army to build, an empire to defend. Do you think I should be wasting my time here? Oh dear, yes. Power is not just about big armies and strong men. It's about confidence. What are you talking about? There are spies here. All this will be reported back to Maya. And she needs to see that Tuman Bey is confident. That our glorious Sultan is... Well, that he is not running scared. My brother Gregor is dealing with the spies. Oh, no, he's not. He can't. Spies are like cockroaches. You can kill them all day long, and just when you think they've all gone, you find one in your bed, sleeping beside you. Are you going in? I suppose I have to. Why the pained look? This could be your last chance to enjoy civilized company before your long march to the provinces. Anyway, all you have to do is make sure the Sultan sees you, compliment him on his new creation, and then you can be on your way. That's precisely what I intend to do. They say the next few weeks will be unbearably hot. <laughs> the innocence of childhood. The might of Tuman Bay. Ah, Lady Shahjad, may I be the first to congratulate you? What for? Your husband's wonderful new creation. That? It all smell like horse dung to me. But then I wasn't born here. We are reborn! Invigorated! I heard you visited the old man the other day. I didn't know you were close, you two. We're not. I felt sorry for him. It's very unlike you, madam. A soft heart. I thought you knew me better. You did once. Indeed, madam. The loss was mine. I have commissioned the great composer, Masood Shah, to compose a special piece celebrating the creation of life itself. Mother, my boy. Come here. I want you by my side. Of course, it's not just you. You need to look after your son, too. Let it begin. Isn't that supposed to be your job as head of palace security? It should be here by now. Well, you're the harbour master. Where is it? Why don't you just relax? It will come when it comes. But you said it was spotted passing the Golden Dome. Yeah. So, why isn't it here yet? Could be a lot of different reasons. Maybe the wind dropped. <laughs> so what is your wife going to say? What? When she sees you with baby. 
How long have you been apart? No, 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 she's not mine. She's... I'm looking after her for... It's, hey, it's all right. Shh, it's all right. I'm here. No need to cry. Well, maybe I'm a fool, but I had no choice. We are going to have to look after this baby, so the sooner my wife and daughter get used to having her around, the better. Ah. What is it? There she is. Come around the headland. Snatan! Ship coming in. Bring the ladder. Will it dock along the quay here? No. It'll have to anchor just out until the paperwork is complete. Ah. In case uh, slaves escape. It happens. <laughs> Could I go out with you on the skiff? Assembled Sorry. My wife and daughter will be eager to come ashore. Slatan, signal to the captain to give way. They're coming in too fast. You know, when you're married and your wife isn't around, well, a man is surrounded by temptation. And it's very easy to get into bad ways. But I'm proud to say... I have resisted that. Why haven't they lowered their sails? What? There's something wrong. There's no one on deck. Slatan! Fire the warning cannon! What's happening? She's coming in too fast! Slatan! Give way! Give way! Slatan! Give way! Slatan! Give way! Oh my god. Hello? Hello? Please, hold my baby. Hold my baby, I must. Careful! Careful! Hila! Show it up! Show it up, Slatter! Take the ropes! Hila! Hila! Hello? Hello? Slatter, get your men and keep watch over the slave holds. Hila! Let me help. Hello? Hello? Where are they? Hello? Hello? <coughs> you, where's the captain? Where's the captain? He's dead. We're all dying. Go back. What? Go back. Why? What? Cover your face, quickly. What? What's going on? Slatan! Slatan! Are there any slaves in the hole? Yes, sir. They are dead. All dead. Dead? This ship is a ship of dead men. It's plague. Get off. Get off now! But my wife, my daughter, Ila! I heaven. said get off! No! No! Push it back out! Burn it! What are you doing? We have no choice. No! My wife! My daughter! Please, no! 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 Excuse me. Excuse me. Your daughter. What? Your daughter. Oh. Naima. Naima. It's all right. It's all right. Don't. Don't. I'm here now. I'm here. In Tumen Bay, Episode 2, Ship of the Dead, by John Dryden, Gregor was played by Rufus Wright, the girl of the ship by Olivia Popica, her mother, Natalie Armin, 
the ship's captain, Albert Welling, Kadali, Matthew Marsh, Sarah, Nina Yindis, Ibn, Nabil el Wahabi, Shaja, Sarah Beckmather, Madhu, Danny Ashok, Sultan al Ghuri, Raj Rawi, the Hafiz, Anthony Bunsey, General Kulan, Christopher Fulford, and the head eunuch by John Sessions. Sound design was by Steve Bond. Music was by Sasha Putnam, and the editors were James Morgan, Anya Prashgoda, and John Owen. Tuman Bay is produced by Nader Khan and Emma Hearn and directed by John Dryden. Hey, I'm Josh Larson. And I'm Adam Kempinar. We're the hosts of Film Spotting. Since 2005, we've been sharing in depth movie reviews, top five lists, interviews with directors and actors, and more. Star Wars Episode 8 writer director Ryan Johnson, a former guest and guest host, called us a force for good in the universe. He hasn't called in a while. The AV Club, a fine online publication, referred to us as a podcast institution. But don't take their word for it. Check it out for yourself. New episodes every Friday. Visit us at filmspotting.net.